we going, Mr. Dave? Going to look at a homestead site somewhere in Manitoba. Needless to say, we love this property. It has the right amount of land, the house is just the right size for us, and the outbuildings are fantastic and they're in great shape. privacy reasons I didn't show you the inside of the house but we really liked it and we thought it would be a good fit for us so the next thing to do was to put in an offer we put in an offer that we thought was the right price for us and we were definitely feeling at home at this place we waited a few days and found out whether or not we got it Two acres. Mm. And it was it was the right property for us. In every metric you can measure. And we were the highest offer. And we didn't get it. Get some more info, but it doesn't matter. Life isn't fair. Man, it sucks. It was pretty, so pretty. It was pretty nice. Well, we'll get some more info from the realtor. The other realtor is currently ghosting him. Can't imagine why. So the hunt continues. The hunt continues. We'll find our property. We'll find our property. Okay, enough sadness. Kylie got pooped on earlier. I wonder if this is the culprit. Mr. Robin, were you the one who... He gone. He said he was the one who pooped on you. Come on. Oh yeah, she probably doesn't no, want No, I bet you that was a blue jay. Who pooped on you? Yeah. That same for, one you filmed. Probably. It's the same one you filmed. Because I called him evil. Evil, evil and then she got pooped on this morning. Yeah. To uplift ourselves, we went to the garden center and got some more plants and some new fertilizer. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna use for fertilizer. Grower's Eagle. Apparently they're from Grower's Fertilizer, which is local, that's cool. Um, and it's 20-20-20. You'll find the ratio on like all fertilizers. And what that is, is nitrogen level, phosphoric acid, phosphorus, and potash, N, P, K, are the three letters. It's really P2O5 and K2O. Um, and then there's some micronutrients in here, I guess. Iron, manganese, zinc, copper, boron, uh, molybdenum, molyb molybdenum, M-O. So what it is, it's these granulars, granulars, granule, whatever. It's granular. How about that? This was 454 grams, 11 bucks, plus tax. And you just mix this in water and there's a ratio on the back how much per water per liter of water for this two liter my addiction coca-cola if you want to sponsor us no i need six or so so not a lot what is this that's seven and a half This is the real scientific method here. That's good. Close enough. A little funnel. Oh. Well, you know what? Good enough, I'm gonna do it over the concrete. See, and this is why I did a little extra, because there was gonna be some spillage. Good. Don't. <laughs> Our grass is gonna be dead in that spot. <laughs> Great sound. I mean, it's either this or the motorcycle driving by. <laughs> What's worse? Motorcycle. There we go. There's two liters of fertilizer water. Nice. And that's going to be for my peppers that. I'm less than, less than pleased with their current growth. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just expose a little bit of soil kind of around each, each plant. I obviously don't wanna dig it up or dig up any roots. I'm gonna do this for each plant. I just really wanna make sure that this stuff gets down in there. What's what's going on with these peppers? They're just not thriving. Like they're they're not much bigger than the day we put them in the ground. But I mean, these back ones are okay. But uh, especially the habaneros up front and the Dracula pepper. I mean, the Dracula pepper hasn't grown at all. It's not dying, but it's not thriving. This now we didn't soil pepper. test. We really should, but we just added the five-way mix from Reamers, and that's got 10% compost in it. So you would think that the soil is pretty good and healthy. Certainly looks healthy. Do you have to disturb the soil to put in fertilizer? No, but I feel like. I want to give it every chance it can to get down in there. This is a this is a me method. I really like the look of the Dracula pepper. I'd like it even more if it would grow. And then there's going to be some peppers that go in here today, which we'll do a little time lapse here momentarily. So I'm just going to 
prep it and get it ready to, I'm just gonna put fertilizer down in there too. Good enough. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use half of this split up evenly amongst all the holes and plants. Get an idea for how much is how much. And then we're gonna water these real good so that we don't burn anything out. some explosive growth would be the goal would be the goal uh, we're gonna plant two Carolina Reaper pepper so we got a deal today 30% off end of season sale thanks some cuz we're gonna do Carolina Reapers two more I figure we got the space let's grow some extra stuff because we didn't get the property so we're gonna be here a little longer um, so let's reap what we can sow Two Carolina Reapers, one more habanero, and then I got a Trinidad scorpion pepper that we're gonna do in a pot. We also got four more cucumbers. We have, we're gonna try broccoli in between the beans and beets. And then Kai's got some flowers for our front step. So that's the goal today. picked up some cucumbers and we're gonna plant them because ours are doing okay they're not doing the greatest last year they were already hitting the chicken wire and this year well but they got flowers earlier than they did last year they do and I think that's because I was trimming off the leaves that had the mildew on them which now, tell you what, I don't see a lot. Yeah, I used the mix of water and milk protein and that has seemed to kind of clear it up a little bit. I'm gonna do that again tomorrow. Um, you're supposed to do it weekly and I have been. I did it last week, so yeah, so we're gonna do that. But we're got, we got a plant. And if we plant little, this guy here. A little shot of juice, baby. A little, a little juice. We're going to call that our go juice. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of something stinky out here. Something stinky. I think they're just smoking dope. Smoking dope, doing things, being cool like the beans. <laughs> okay. Spread this away a little bit. So I don't think it's a ton of it in here. So we'll see how this variety of cucumber grows. We usually get straight up pickling cukes. 
Whereas these are Johnson something. No. <laughs> Jacobson something. Uh, Jackson Classic. Jackson Classic. I knew there was a J. Why do you do that? Um, because I saw someone online doing it. Oh. <laughs> Planting them late in the season, I don't know. We'll see. Why not? 30% off. Well, Granted, exactly. one day we'll just start our own stuff from seed, but we're not there yet. Yeah, we'll try that next year. Once we have a far, uh, homestead. We were oh so close, and then we're now oh so far away again. Thanks, housing market. Thanks, housing market. Okay, so next, we planted our cucumbers. You want to do your flower pot or the broccoli? Well, maybe let's do the broccoli. And I think if we do them like here, 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 you know? Go to town. We do two, two. And one, two, two, and two? Yeah. All right, go to town. I like this. Okay. I think this is good. Good deal. I Rock. don't know, are, can broccoli and tomato be in the same box? Sure, because they're going to be, because this it's either this spot or back to the oh, beef. Oh, oh, this oh you're is my worst nightmare. Her favorite bugs. Oh. They're so cute, and you hate them so much. Do you want me to do it? No, I can do this. Okay, look at you. Get the camera on, and you're fearless. It's not about the camera. It's about having to eventually move into a place with lots of bugs. Fair. <laughs> Sorry, ants. <laughs> ants on my hand. I really hate ants, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. You got out of there quick. Oh. Okay, deep breath. Do you want me? Like I said, I can do it. I ain't scared of no ants in my pants. Okay. Do you got this? Hold on. It's like, come on. Give it. <laughs> it's so close to my face. Yeah, but it's wide angle, so it's okay. You I got, got this. You got this? Okay, here we go. Let's get it. Okay. Before they crawl all over, back all over that shovel you were holding up. You know what I need? Your gloves. My gloves. Just don't let them get in the gloves. I shouldn't have said that because that's all she's going to be thinking about now. So look at that. We used almost two liters of go juice between the cucumbers, the peppers, and now the broccolis. Oh my gosh. Gloves protect me from all evil. No. You're bugs silly. are not evil. Bugs are good. Bugs are healthy for bugs stinks. are good. Okay. Oh, they come apart yeah. pretty easy. Yeah, they're coming apart. Coming apart pretty good. try broccoli so. yeah so now we'll get to try broccoli and i've used this pot for this four is what years. your yeah fourth season of i bought a planted like arranged um pot for our front stoop 
and I liked the color of this pot so much <laughs> that I saved it because it's just a just a plastic pot I mean I guess reduce reuse right but um, I just keep reusing it and putting in a similar mix of, of stuff which I usually it was usually like a spike plant like this um, ooh, a begonia which I almost bought today but I didn't because I saw this beautiful <laughs> canna lily plant which I've never had before but I saw the flowers on it are these like bright orange and so I was like you know what let's try this why not so we'll see how it goes and it looks kind of tropical which I liked so this time I actually got ivy uh, oh sorry I actually don't know if this is ivy yeah when I was in the store it said like waxed ivy this I don't think is actually ivy, but it was next to the wax ivy. So this is Dorothanius Mezzo trailing red. Um, and it's got these like kind of like cactusy like flowers on it, um, which will come. So I saw it and I thought, wow, what a great color and what a great texture. Cause it's like, it's almost like a succulent the way that it looks. And then we got these guys Brachiosome, scome, brachioscome, um, which I have never used either. So we're just, we're going full bore on things that, that I've never done before, besides the spike, which is <laughs> the easiest thing you could ever plant. Actually, I'm gonna dump more of the soil into here. <coughs> Gotta have the groaning sounds. I don't know. Does anyone else groan as they're doing anything? This was always just potting soil in here. Um, oh yeah, we still have a bag of that in the basement. I always forget we have that. Yeah. I didn't need to dig a hole over there. I could have just used that. <laughs> Jeez. But you can fill the hole with potting soil if you yeah. want. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. This is crazy. The amount of like overgrown roots here. This is actually like I don't know if this is one plant or two. Oh. Add some water to it to loosen everything up. Baby. You might need to cut that one out of there. I might. that out okay so we'll put her in the middle I think cool <laughs> get this guy out I want to break free or like this yeah I like that okay so take this guy out gentle with him because he's very delicate I don't know why I gender the plants the yeah. calla was a she the ivy is a he the ivy is a he 
The spike protein is a they. Spike protein. <laughs> spike plant. <laughs> spike protein. <laughs> yeah, I got, Whoa, coronavirus. Got coronavirus <laughs> yeah, on the mind. Coronavirus! And then that can face the front. That ivy will trail off to the front. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I'm obsessed with these, though. Yeah, those are cute flowers. Let's see. to do a pot this way I'll be honest with you but then you um, get to pick and choose but you get to pick what you want and and I really enjoy planting uh, something like this because you get to arrange it yourself which is fun it's just plain fun yeah how great is that so we'll learn some new plants this year we're gonna learn the um, calla plant? Calla lily plant? I'm sorry, canna. That's what was different. I don't actually know if it's a lily or not. Canova. Um, anyways, we're going to learn that plant. And then we're going to learn Bro how to do, this, do the trailing red. And broccoli. We're going to learn broccoli. Broccoli we're going to learn. Some, so new, some new pepper varieties. Every year we're learning something new. Mm -hmm.